So in this column, it's just your normal water. It would normally have a pH of around seven. So you see that? Pretty neutral. Maybe slightly towards six. And what I've done is I've put in what's called a universal indicator. So if you guys take chemistry, you'll learn that indicators basically change color for a pH. This is a universal indicator, so it actually has two or three of those to give us the entire spectrum of pH. So if we could make this water acidic all the way down to zero, it would turn bright red. And if we could make it extremely basic, it would turn purple all the way up to 14. So when we talk about pH, that's really just the concentration of hydrogen. A hydrogen ion, the plus hydrogen ion. When you have a lot of hydrogen, things go acidic. When you have a low amount of hydrogen, things go basic. So what I want you guys to see is when we add just a little bit of CO2, we can actually change the acidity of this water. Are you ready? No. So Will, Will who's not ready, is going to be our atmosphere. So put that on your chest. So this hopefully takes it home for you. And so what Will is going to do as the atmosphere is he's going to breathe in this tube. Here you go, Will. No. Whenever you're ready. Big breaths, Will. Big breaths. And so think of this bubbling air coming up through this column, just like the wave action at the surface of our oceans. And so this is the mixture of our atmosphere, Will, and the ocean seawater. Couldn't use an air compressor. No, no, no compressor here, Will. So what is the acidity right now? What is our pH level? Sure. So somebody yell out. So from the color of this column, what do you guys think we have the pH right now? About 10, 9 to 10, right? Now watch Will. Will's about to pass out. <laughs> Don't pass out, Will. So you guys seeing any changes yet? What is that? No, we'll get to this later. Okay. <laughs> so how much CO2 does Will have coming out of his lungs? Not even 10%. <laughs> how much percentage of CO2 are we actually breathing out? You guys remember? About 3 to 4%. How much CO2 is he breathing in? <laughs> It's just the amount of CO2 in our atmosphere, right? So 0.04% is breathing in. His body is taking the oxygen out of the air he breathes in, and he's actually emitting more CO2. How you doing, know, Will? Terrible. Terrible? Yeah, your friends are saying how weak you are, Will. Are you going to let them say that? I mean, they can come up and do it if they want. <laughs> you guys want to come up and help? No. <laughs> no, John, get off for a demo. Come on. So has it changed at all yet? No. Nothing. So what I've done is I've actually, with this huge column of water, I've made it a lot more difficult for Will, right? Because he has to use a little bit of CO2 to try and change the pH in our oceans. Should we turbo boost this? Yes. No? no. <laughs> she wants to see you suffer. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're going to let you suffer a bit longer. Why though? <laughs> Come on, Will. You can do this. So I've also kind of been a jerk here, and I actually added too much of the sodium hydroxide. So now Will actually has to use more CO2 to convert this and make it go back to acidic. It's changing a little bit, right? No? Everybody's shaking their head, Will. Oh, shit. <laughs> no cussing. This is a public classroom, Will. All right, let's turbo boost this. You ready? Here you go. All right, thanks, Will. So what we have here now... Don't pass out on us, Will. No promises. So now this is our atmosphere. This is a tank of compressed CO2, right? So this is pure CO2. And so to make the challenge better, whoa, I got caught on my microphone. To make this challenge even better, I'm going to add more of the sodium hydroxide. So we're going to make this even more basic. Because this right now is about the pH of our oceans. But so you guys can see the full spectrum, I'm going to add a bunch more. Or basically, I'm going to reduce the hydrogen ions, right? So we're making this a lot more basic. Are you guys ready for this? So now you can see that up top, we're approaching a pH of 14. So we're hitting the top of our pH scale. And here we go. Let's see what CO2 does. And the whole reason why I'm doing this demo is I want you guys to see how quickly carbon dioxide can form a carbonic acid and make this go very acidic. So here we go.
Uh oh, am I blocking? It's going to take a minute because I just added so much sodium hydroxide. So look at that. The top has gone yellow. We're still converting some of the sodium hydroxide at the bottom. But what scale did we travel? How far did we go down in the pH? So we started at 14, and now where are we at? We're about three to four. Is that amazing? That happened over just a few seconds. And so as we change the carbon dioxide levels in our atmosphere, this is exactly what's happening to our oceans. And it's almost an instant result, isn't it? Let's turn this off before we boil over. So any questions on the demo? So I hope you guys realize that more CO2 in the atmosphere means a much more acidic ocean, and it happens really quickly.